All right, today we're going to be looking at an alleged prophet named Barry Wunsch. He's from Canada. Eh? I wonder if uh, Brother John Elving has covered him. I don't know. I haven't seen anything. Uh, either way, uh, he was brought to my attention. And so I'm going to be playing some clips. And uh, it's, it's, I think it's about eight minutes or so. And uh, it's just to give you a really good idea of, of uh, what this guy does. Again, he's an alleged prophet, so we're going to examine uh, what we're hearing and seeing today, and boy, get ready. See if you can make it through. I do offer some commentary at the end, and so uh, with that, let's take a look. Kept hearing the cabal will fall. <laughs> the cabal will fall. <laughs> For they will turn to the east, and I will be there. <laughs> in the West, but I will stand in their way. Mm. Their plans and their empires by one. Do finished, they are done. It is my reformation. It for this. Jealousy, envy, gossip. You use them like a commodity. To boundaries, you have walls. Stubborn and continue in your ways. You will have no fire on your altar. Mm. And into your destiny. Mm. The drum was a warrior angel dressed in First Nation regalia, <laughs> sitting at the drum. Oh! God was released upon the nation. The giant of the First Nations was awoken. Oh! Chief's head dress and a war bonnet. Oh! A war had taken that holy oil and you could have wrung it out with your hands. Wow. You know, so every yep. step that this, the First Nation, this giant made oil. It left an imprint of oil. And it just saturated everywhere it went. So I'll say, behold, the release and the awakening of the First Nations are upon you. Yeah. Watch as government and legislatures shake apart as this leaping giant arises. Ooh. Blowing of a mighty wind. Yeah, there'd be no denial. So it'd be like a wind of the spirit to expose to the uttermost his <laughs> corruption. I'm watching, and I'm in the room where the J committee is meeting. Whoa. Gee, that's yeah. intense. Whoa. Gee, that's intense. Out of that blues with such a ferocity that they were trying to speak to one another, but they couldn't even hear. Really? Wow. A false accusation against Rogers. <laughs> or and every... I'm going to show you those who are in your midst who are enemy plants. Oh! My son... I know your heart is not to see anyone hurt. I stand and lead the charge in this nation. Ah! Donald, my son, as you turn your eyes and your heart to me, I will lead you how? and this great nation into the greatest time in history. My son, my son. You will help posture this nation for revival like it is never seen. Oh, I've given you plans. It's time to roll them out. How? Oh, I did not give them to your temporal advisors. How? Oh, or your analysts. How? Oh, I have given them to you. How? Oh, How? Oh. So, Donald, my son. Enjoy the ride with me as we write history 
and you watch me move how in great and mighty ways in your midst. It will stand the test of time who for centuries to come for my name's sake. Who and who it was I was taken into the headquarters of the army, the headquarters of the navy, the headquarters of the air force, and the headquarters of the space force. <laughs> Now, it wasn't long until Donald J. Trump and these generals once again had control and peace began to flood the land. I saw citizens coming out of their houses, celebrating in the streets, rejoicing, giving glory to God. And I watched, I was taken into to a, to a, a briefing room and, you know, kind of a, with a bunch of monitors. It will be from Broadway to a narrow way. How? The Northeast, USA, my hand at work as I pull the carpet out from under them. What is about to happen will change the nations forever. Go, oh, power that I call you forth. Arise, ho, oh, arise, ho, oh, arise, ho. Oh, take your place, nothing that they can do. That will bring them a final victory. Oh! <laughs> there shall that shall be soon brought into light and into justice. What, what? you're about to see, who oh, is not another false flag? Who oh! shall take out the targets they have been assigned to do so? Tell them that there's a way out at my side. Who? Oh! To those that heed my call, I shall grant favor. People are going to be forced ho, to take a side. There shall be no more sitting on the fence. Ho, ho. End up paying a great price. Wow. 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 That is so, I, I feel it's so strong. Just, I know you, you feel the Holy Spirit so strong. And holy is the word of the Lord. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, wow. Oh. That's, that's just, that's just amazing. I mean, public. Oh, strategic planning meetings. Uh, but, but it, it was very clear. And when you mentioned Donald Trump, you all, all I can say is, you could just feel the weight of authority that was in that room with the president and and the mutual submission that was within the leadership it was it was just the weight of authority that was in that room was hey, you've got an amazing governor there yeah governor oh. DeSantis my sense was it was it was property related to uh you know president donald j trump in florida <laughs> oh, not within the year of december but i'm going to say you know within probably uh i would say within a year <clears throat> we're going to see this this happen if not before spring <laughs> oh Boy, Ooh, sorry. You're really getting the you're really getting the spirit on that man. He's doing what he wants to do, so Ooh, I'm really <laughs> hot, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You know, I was kind of involved in this deal, <laughs> and I and so I ordered, and I found my spirit coming into Winnipeg that what we're going to do here is going to basically unlock <laughs> out of Canada. <laughs> A yeah. wealth transfer that, that has been held. And so we came in there and we have basically unlocked <laughs> out of Canada. Yeah. A yeah. wealth transfer that, that has been held. And so we came in and, yeah. uh, and we're going to get this because because Canada, we really are the tip of the spear for the nations. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Is Barry Wunsch hearing from God? is the Holy Spirit speaking through him. I want to show you something. In the book of Galatians, chapter 5, we can read 
verse, starting in verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. In watching Barry, did you see peace? Did you see gentleness, meekness? How about temperance? If we go to Merriam-Webster's dictionary, you can see the word we're looking at is temperance. Here's what it says. Moderation in action, thought, or feeling. Did you see moderation? No. How about restraint? Not only did you not see restraint, you saw the opposite of restraint. I want to say something so that you understand, and because I might get some comments. Barry Wunsch is not sick. He has no diagnosed illness, whether physical or neurological. He doesn't have Tourette's syndrome. He doesn't have schizophrenia or epilepsy. No, he says that these fits, these convulsions happen when the Holy Spirit comes upon him. He attributes this to the working of the Holy Spirit, which to me is borderline blasphemy to attribute the Holy Spirit to this kind of behavior is outrageous. But he's not sick. Now, one of two things is happening here. Either Barry Wunsch is putting on a show, which would be my guess, or he's genuinely being visited uh, or possessed by some outside force, but it's not the Holy Spirit. It's a devil or it's a familiar spirit. But either way, you'll find, and I think I'm, I'm not um, out of bounds by saying that you really can't focus on his message because of what you're seeing. And uh, that, that's just the fact. You, you can't focus. And, and you have to ask yourself, would God use a man like this? You know, if God had a message that he wanted the people to genuinely hear, do you think this is doing the trick? Do you think God would pick a man who convulses and puts on a show like this? And the answer is no, because you can't focus on the words. You can't focus on his message. Most of the time, I, I wanted to call an ambulance for this guy. But even with all this said, I would absolutely ask the viewer to pray for Barry Wunsch. Pray for him. Pray that he would come to the true gospel. Because when you abide in the truth of Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit will dwell in you, and you will be settled. You will not display what he displays you will have even as we read through scripture you'll have meekness and temperance peace and barry displays none of that it's a carnival act but also when the holy spirit dwells in you you won't have any desire to deceive the masses and that's what he's doing he's shipwrecking the faith of potentially millions of people Millions of Christians. And you see, this is the damage when you deal with false teachers and false prophets. So with that, we'll wrap up this video. Until next time.